Hello students, let's work out the following problem. It says Dr. Salim is a senior citizen aged 67 years. He earns rupees 21,000 per month. He donates rupees 6,000 to Prime Minister Relief Fund, 100% relief and rupees 4,000 to an educational institute, 50% relief. He contributes rupees 60,000 towards PPF and purchases NSE worth rupees 15,000. He pays income tax of rupees 600 per month for first 11 months of the year. Find the income tax to be paid by him in the last month of the year. So let us now move on to the solution. Now the first step towards finding the income tax is to write the gross income of the assessee. And here, the CC is Mr. Salim. And we are given that he earns rupees 21,000 per month. So, it is 21,000 into 12. We have to write the gross annual income. So, the gross annual income of Dr. Salim is rupees 2 lakh. 52,000. Now the second step is to find the amount of donation for deduction. Now we are given that he donates rupees 6,000 to Prime Minister's Relief Fund and get 100% exemption and rupees 4,000 to an educational institution and gets 50% relief. So the rebate on donation Prime Minister's Relief Fund rupees 6000 and gets 100% exemption And donation to educational institute rupees four thousand and he gets relief of fifty percent. So this is rupees two thousand. So the donation, rebate on donation is is rupees 6,000 plus 2,000 that is rupees 8,000. Now the third step is to find the total savings. We are given that he contributes rupees 60,000 towards PPF and purchases NSE for rupees 15,000. PPF rupees 60,000 and NSE rupees 15,000. So the total savings is rupees. 75,000. Now the fourth step is to obtain the taxable income by subtracting the amount obtained in step 2 and 3 from the amount obtained in step 1. So the taxable income is given by rupees 2,52,000 minus 8,000 minus 75,000 and this is equal to rupees 
one lakh sixty nine thousand. Now the next step is the computation of the income tax. Now here we see from the current slab that if taxable income is up to rupees one lakh eighty five thousand, then the rate of tax is nil. Hence. The tax payable is nil. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.